Hey everyone, well it is full on spring out here in Northern California and I have found these gorgeous purple wildflowers and we are painting them. This is a really simple watercolor sketch. I was really running out of time to paint this week but really following the whole idea of let is, let's paint and use what time we have creating in the margins. And so paint with me, this takes less than 18 minutes to finish, we're gonna use colors from our spring palette. It is bright and lovely and fun and a beautiful piece to brighten up your journal, send to a friend, put up in your home. I think you're going to love it. So come with me as we paint this beautiful picture. Hey everyone, it's a new week, a new week of spring, and we're going to go ahead and start painting. This is one of those weeks where um, I, it's just the time is short and I almost didn't paint it all, record it all, but I've always one of the things I like to remember and commit to is creating in the margins. I don't wait for a ton of time, like big blocks of time. I create in the time I have. I'm sometimes choosing to just realizing I can do less important things, right? And jump on, even if it's just 15 minutes of painting, I'm just gonna take this down right here. So what I've done is yesterday I was just doodling, and this is definitely one of those weeks where we're painting spring flowers from pictures but not committing to a ton of time. I had printed out some pictures. Um, these beautiful purple wildflowers, these are some lupines, but really honing in on the week of the color purple. Last week we were painted orange and we'll definitely can be combining them soon. Um, I remember I had actually, this is a sweet uh, pit, bouquet of flowers that the group of women at Bible study gave to me, which was so kind of them. So I've kept, taken several pictures so I can paint them before if I don't paint them live. So anyways, you can see I was just doing some ink and watercolors. I like that one, but also I wanted to create with maybe not a, such a white background. This one got a little bit away from me, but then I'm going to go ahead, I put some ink overlays and then I'll go ahead and do some more painting. But let's go ahead and do a sketch. We're gonna um, do just a nice loose sketch of wild wildflowers. And I wanted to do a wash of green, a little bit of yellow, so it's not such a stark background. So what I'm gonna do is I'm also gonna just go ahead and start sketching out some of the leaves that I'm seeing in some of the flowers. We have our beautiful, beautiful flowers here and they're almost like, I don't know, like an umbrella. An umbrella of just like lots and of these, these beautiful petals hanging down. I do not know what kind of wildflower this is, but I just love it. So I'm just doing a really loose sketch. I can kind of see some of the flowers here. So there's another one. I'm actually gonna put this one, almost looks like it's, I'll bring that in so you can see that a little bit better almost like a tent at the top. It's really, really interesting, but it's the petals creating this tent. And I can see not only purple, but I can see a bit of pink in there too. And I'm not quite sure if it was how the sun, it was morning time when I took this picture, probably around seven-ish, a little bit after. And so I'm gonna go ahead and just continue on making those plants, flowers. I'm also gonna be making, adding in these beautiful stems. And I really love how the leaves are going out and out and out. They're just really beautiful. I've got some thicker stalks too, which I'm gonna go ahead and, and add those in back here. And you can see too, I am choosing what I add in and what I don't. Um, that's the beauty of when we're painting. We don't have to do every flower, every petal. We can figure out what's gonna look lovely and what will be too much, right? And so I see another one over here. And this one, the stem is hanging out a bit. And just to let you know, I did go ahead, oh, we've got a fire engine going by. Um, I did go ahead and I think I said I did a light wash and I let it dry before I started sketching over it because if I don't let it dry, what ends up happening is that the micron pin will die a sad death. So we don't want that, right? And I actually have some leaves over this one, which I kind of love. And I am gonna just go ahead. And this is a bit of just a wild, a wild, painting, which I, I kind of love this about spring. I love the exuberance. I love how everything just grows and grows and grows. And this is the activity of spring of just throwing yourself with abandon, without abandon maybe, <laughs> and engaging in the season, right? 
just thinking about that, it's been a really busy season for me so far. It definitely feels like some spring. Um, really in helping with some projects, not necessarily my projects, but um, whether projects at work or projects at church, or a big conference, going to someone else's conference a friend was speaking at. And um, it's been uh, helping with a lot of different things. And there's just a joy in seeing something come together, right? I really, I really love that. I really have loved being able to serve and be a part of things. It has been exhausting, but at the same time, there's just that, you know, when you're tired, it's the good fatigue. And because, you know, you've done just a good, just good work, you know, it's just been a good work that came together because a lot of people worked and cooperated and really, um, it wasn't my vision, but we were all, you know, all, there's something about executing on someone else's vision. And um, it's been several different things that I've been able to do that for recently. And that's just been a joy. It's just been a joy. I've been, I've definitely started to feel like that emotional fatigue where your thoughts are going a little awry. And it's like, you know what? I'm just a little bit tired. In fact, after this, I'm going to go for a walk and have some dinner and then um, you know, have a really quiet evening. It's been a long time since I've been home. It's just been super busy. So, um, you know, I have learned as I've gotten older just to kind of go with the season, right? To go with the season and then take a break and knowing that things are constantly changing. Okay, that's looking a little bit crazy, but I kind of love it. I really kind of love it. Now I want to do another flower right back in here. And I want to go right over here. That's my green leaf there. So let's go ahead and put in a flower here. And with those leaves sticking out. So what are you good doing? I'm hoping in your neck of the woods, you're also busy creating or you know maybe it's for maybe you're like me you're not having like your own projects really right now you're helping other people with theirs maybe there's people getting married in your life maybe there's people moving all the things right and you're just you're a support person there is joy in being that support person and I think that comes to when there's just joy in seeing other things accomplished and seeing other people growing in their lives. I know I get a lot of joy out of that. Okay, so let's start painting now. I'm actually gonna start first with the green. Do I wanna do that first? Yes, I think I'm gonna start with the green first. So I've got my permanent green out here and we are going to be using green and purple. We're gonna use the purple to darken up and create some shadowing as well as the petals. And then also I'm going to use a bit of pink and I'll probably throw in a bit of yellow too. And still with all of this, I'm all going into this. If you remember, let me back up a little bit, our lovely, um, our palette that we created a couple weeks ago, I'm using the colors off of there and really working to stick to this beautiful color palette. So I'm going to go over here. This is coming down and I have, this is a size six brush and we're just dragging it just not you know I'm not going straight down I'm kind of pulling it pulling that color around and it looks it just looks lovely it just looks lovely okay we're gonna have over here and moving this down and I love this green it is such it's not quite a primary green I just think it's such a beautiful spring green and you can tell too I am not painting everything in. That's one way to kind of create depth in your paintings is don't paint it solid because that makes it look flat. What we want to do is we're just going around. We're going to add in some other colors to give it some depth. I'm including quite a bit of water here too. Pulling that down, coming over here, and this is looking really lovely. Very, very nice. It feels so good to put color on paper just to take some nice deep breaths from all the activity to enjoy the quiet evening. It's so nice that the light is lighter, right? I wasn't able to do a lot of recording after work because it was it gets so dark so early in the winter time, but I realized today I was gonna have a chance to come home. I had recorded yesterday, but to be perfectly honest, it really didn't turn out very well, and it, even the actual recording. So I thought, okay, let's see if we can we can change this a little bit. And I'm so thankful for that opportunity to do so tonight. Okay, so 
perfect. So we have that down. That looks really nice. And now we're going to go for a purple. I'm going to just pick up that dioxazine purple. I think I'm finally able to say it correctly without completely stuttering over that dioxazine purple. And you're going to see I'm doing the exact same thing. I'm pulling the paint down and I am not coloring it totally in. Um, I would like the paint to set a little bit more probably at the bottom and I'll may go back in another layer. Again, this week I am just finding those margins, creating in the margins, which means I may or may not come back and do another layer. I know I won't for this recording. And then just continuing on. I get into the conversation fairly regularly on creating and producing, and everyone has a different theory, and there's certainly no right or wrong. I know for me, it's been helpful to stay in a rhythm, even with YouTube. Oh, that's a leaf. That's not a petal of um, making sure I stayed in a rhythm of having producing a painting a week. It's been a good practice for me that I don't let too much time go by without, without continuing to paint, to think of new ideas. And that really it just, it's helped me a little, lot of different ways. It's also helped me to remember, you know, you have, you have the same 24 hours in a day that everyone else has. It's how am I spending my time? A lot of times I know I can, it's so easy to think that I don't have enough time to create, but you know, time and time again, I am amazed at how much time, how little time it takes to do something creative. And whether it's baking a batch of cookies, sometimes, you know, I'll bake the, mix the batter, put it in the fridge, bake it later in the week, or working on embroidery. It is the little things add up. I have always, I think I realized a couple of years ago that I am more of the tortoise than the hare and that wonderful children's story, that Aesop's fable, and that I do better overall when I just consistently keep going bit by bit. I like to move fast for sure. But a lot of times, most of the things in my life have come with the consistency more than big bursts of energy. Okay, we all have limitations, right? Kind of working within those limitations and using the time we have. I'm going through the Lord of the Rings series and you know that part where Gandalf says to Frodo when Frodo is bemoaning the fact that he had wished he had never taken the ring and why did this have to happen to me? And he's kind of, he went from really wanting the adventure to being like, um, never mind, no thanks, too hard. And Gandalf says, um, we can't wish for what we don't have. We, it's only, I'm totally butchering it. We get to choose what to do with what's given to us and the time that's given to us. And that really has left a mark on my heart. I've just, I've been thinking about that recently a lot. So I would love to hear what you're working on right now. And are you more of a to tortoise or a hare when it comes to creating? I'm curious, super curious. Okay, just and I am I adding a little bit of pink in here. I'm actually because I really felt that these flowers had a brightness to them, and I wanted to keep that brightness going. And you notice I'm not putting enough pink in where I'm overwhelming it, but just a little bit to add a spark. And then I'm going to add a little bit more purple under it. And this is that pink that we've been using. And you'll see too. I'm going to come back with some purple and just drop some purple over it. So we're just creating that depth, right? And a bit of shadowing. Those flowers are really starting to pop off the page, which I love, 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 love. Okay. There we go. Lovely. Grab a little bit more pink, put it in these ones. So pretty. So, so pretty. Okay. Now, Let's go back, add a little bit more purple here. A little bit more purple, moving around. Okay, another petal here. I have four flowers when I should have five. I am just realizing that now. We always wanna have an odd number, right? So why don't I go back in over here, and is this dry? It is dry in here. I'm going to Add just a little sprig up here. Odd numbers 
are often seen in nature and they always look really much more natural and beautiful because of the way they just for some reason were drawn to the uneven. Okay, so there's number five. I'm glad I saw that. And I'm just going to add that purple in there and then come back. We'll add a bit of pink. And I've got this leaf over it as if it's maybe hiding a bit. It's a bit of a bashful flower. There we go. Okay, and then coming back over here a bit, we need some more boulder, I think, over here. Now, if we really wanted to go um, deeper with our painting skills, we might notice where the sun is and add in more depth and color. I'm not doing that too much with this one, and you can see with this where the sun was just coming on down. But again, I'm not, I'm not too concerned with that today. I am going to go grab some yellow and mix it with the green. and come in and add just a little bit up here. Added that yellow, which isn't that pretty? It's just beautiful. I love that. Moving that over here. Okay, we don't want that purple to get over. Okay, so I did that. Now let's add a little bit of purple to the green. And we're gonna come out with a darker green. And look at this, and I will do it like right down here. Isn't that interesting? And in some of these leaves that are farther down, I am adding in that color, I think that's lovely. Now watch too what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a coat over here as well. And you can see too how things start to pop, right? We're just changing up the colors a bit, but it actually seems to be popping. I'm gonna add some more down here off the page, which I really love. I love that depth that we can bring. Okay, so now that I have that going on here, I'm gonna come back in. I am gonna grab just the regular permanent green and we're gonna go ahead and add that more in here just to fill in some spots that I think are a little bit too white. You can see I am moving fairly fast, right? And you can certainly, oh, I need a stem going through here. Let's get some darker color here. Making sure all of our flowers and stems go all the way down. And we're gonna actually add on some leaves to this sky. I don't know where the leaves went for that one. There we go. Lovely, absolutely lovely. We're gonna stretch this one out over here. We're not, we don't have to stay stuck within that pin. That's what I kind of love. It's just a sketch. It's just a direction to add some whimsical value. You can always do more pin over it as well. Isn't that lovely? Okay, I'm actually really happy with how this one is turning out. I think it's lovely. Okay, what do you think? What do you, this is just 17 minutes here. This is great. I'll let it dry. I might even, for fun, we might do a little bit of splattering here. Let's see if I get some purple splattering over here. Maybe just, just a little bit over there. Isn't that fun? And then I'll go over here and get some green. Just to add in a little bit of texture. And then what I could even do is grab some yellow. There's not a lot of yellow in here and you won't even be able to tell too much. I'm just going to grab a little bit of yellow, come right over here on some of these leaves that were looking a little bit faded. Oh, that's actually really sweet. Oh, I'm so glad I came in here tonight. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope wherever you are, you are just, you are creating in the margins. Creating in the margins of your life, no matter what the limitations are, taking a few minutes to create and add beauty to the world. Okay, this has been really fun. I've so enjoyed this and I look forward to seeing you next week at the same place on the Creative Season YouTube channel. All right, I will see you guys next time. Okay, bye-bye.